Which of the following is not a potential source of comparative advantage for China in the manufacturing sector? A, a large domestic market that can lead to scale economies. B, abundant, low-wage, low-skill workers. C, coastal areas with good logistics for international trade. Or D, abundant credit from China's government sectors to set up manufacturing operations. The correct answer here is D, abundant credit from China's government sector to set up manufacturing operations. Manufacturing plays a number of key roles in the economy. It also provides good jobs with excellent wages and benefits to minority workers. Trade statistics suggest that China is exporting high-tech manufacturing goods such as machinery, transport equipment, and electrical and electronics products and achieved a revealed comparative advantage in some of these industries. China's economic reforms have focused on A. Reducing persistent inflation and current account deficits B. Reducing exchange rate instability C. Transitioning from socialism and toward private ownership or D, privatizing state-owned enterprises and increasing efficiency? The correct answer here is C, transitioning from socialism toward private ownership. The Chinese economic reform or and opening up, which is known as in the West as the opening of China, Is the program of economic reform termed socialism with Chinese characteristics and socialist market economy in the People's Republic of China? China's reform and opening up policies introduced private businesses and market incentives to what was a state-led communist system. Throughout the reform period, the government reduced tariffs and other trade barriers, with the overall tariff rate falling from 56% to 15%. By 2001, less than 40% of imports were subject to tariffs, and only 9% of imports were subject to licensing and import quotas. EU deepening refers to A, adding additional countries into the single currency area, B, legislation that restricts the sovereignty of individual countries. C, extending the boundaries of the EU to include new members. Or D, activities that cause increased levels of integration in the national eco economies. The correct answer here is D, activities that cause increased levels of integration in the national economies. The European Union... is an international organization
of European countries formed after World War II to reduce trade barriers and increase cooperation among its members. Deepening was supposed to complement enlargement. The deepening refers to this ever close union and is seen in the increased integration of the EU. Its clearest manifestation has been the EU's transition toward economic and monetary union and the introduction of the single currency, the euro.